Hi, my name is Dr. Ben Thompson. I am the founder of treblehealth.com. This video is number two of a five-part series to explain treble health. This video will focus particularly on how to help you find the best sound therapy technology. If you're managing tinnitus, you know how important sound therapy can be. But there's a common misconception that sound therapy is just a coping technique or just something to make you feel better in the moment. Actually, sound therapy can be beneficial long term to provide positive effects on the auditory brain and the auditory system. Imagine if I break my wrist and I have to tell you, I have broken my wrist playing basketball. That's another story for a different video. When I broke my wrist, I went to the doctor and they diagnosed a broken wrist and they said, look, your bone needs to heal and it needs six to eight weeks to heal. Modern medical science knows that's the time frame it takes to heal a bone. I said, okay, well, what should I do? And they recommended during that time period, wear a cast to keep your wrist stable as that cast will promote the natural healing process. Of course, I obliged, I continued, and I used the cast and my wrist got better. I consider sound therapy for managing tinnitus just as important as using a cast for a broken wrist. Tinnitus retraining therapy explains the science behind why using sound therapy to reduce the perception over a long-term consistent amount of time is what we need to induce the positive effects on the system and help habituate or reduce the perception of tinnitus. This can be a point people struggle with because they may think every time I'm using sound therapy, I'm giving in to the tinnitus and the tinnitus is winning. That's a dangerous thought because you can put yourself in the situation of trying to push through your tinnitus by tolerating it during painful moments when you're in silence and it's taking over your concentration. Tinnitus retraining therapy, what I believe is the premier neuroplasticity program for tinnitus, would suggest no, avoid silence, use sound therapy, especially during this retraining period, which for most patients is between six and 18 months. So during that time, we need to use sound therapy. This video will focus on what is the best sound therapy available and how can we find the best for you. This is a premium hearing aid. This is one form of sound therapy technology that's often used to manage tinnitus. I find this is a very effective form of sound therapy because it leaves the ear canals naturally open so you can still hear all the natural sound around you and you have additional sound therapy coming in just to your ears so no one else can hear it. That's the first option to consider. Now, there's some reasons why you might not get premium hearing technology. For example, if you did not have a hearing loss, if you didn't want to pay for it, if you weren't noticing trouble hearing, or if you were having other concerns, then we might not choose premium hearing technology, but it's definitely a consideration. The second consideration would be online hearing aids. I'm holding in my hand some online hearing aids that I've reviewed here on my YouTube channel, and they have pros and cons for tinnitus management. They're much cheaper than premium hearing technology, premium hearing aids, but they do not have all of the bells and whistles. And when you're following tinnitus retraining therapy, when you're following a sound therapy protocol, those bells and whistles can be important. If you wanna reduce the ringing in your ears, we need to make sure the hearing aids are promoting sound therapy in a sustainable way. Not just streaming Bluetooth on your app every few hours, but having consistent sound therapy over a matter of months. That's what we recommend because that's what we see as working and helping our patients long-term. The next option for the best sound therapy technology would be ear level sound generators. If you have hearing in the normal range and you don't have a diagnosed hearing loss and you need sound therapy, then we would consider ear level sound generators. There's a few follow-up questions I would have for you and your individual history, but overall, these are a great way to still keep the ear canals open and have natural sound therapy in your ears so that just you can hear it, but it's not blocking your ears like headphones would. Next on this list for the best sound therapy technology for tinnitus, we have sound machines. Let me play this sound machine so you can hear it. As you can hear, this is a calm, comforting river sound and keeping this in your house indoors or by your bedside table at night 
is a great way to use sound therapy. And last on this list, we have smartphones. You can see in my hand, I'm holding an iPhone. Inside of a smartphone, there's many apps you can choose from to have the best sound therapy during the day. Those apps can be streamed through hearing aids. Those apps can be played through sound therapy in your room or those apps can be used with headphones in your ears. I'm happy I can make this video to educate you on what our team of doctors specialize in at Treble Health. There's five major types of the best sound therapy technology, starting with premium hearing aids, and then online hearing aids, ear level sound generators, sound machines, and apps through your phone. If you can follow sound therapy according to our protocol, and you're using some combination of those five, you're likely to get better. That's likely to contribute to your process of recovering and improving your tinnitus. I don't care whether you've had tinnitus for two weeks or two years, using sound therapy can be beneficial and it helps promote the positive brain changes that are needed to reduce the perception of tinnitus. When that happens, we are habituating and when we can habituate, that gives us the best chance to lower the volume and reduce the loudness of your tinnitus. Now a question for you, I'm asking your participation here and trust me, I'm reading every comment. Underneath this video, write a quick comment out of those five types of the best sound therapy technology. What do you use most often that you find benefit from with your tinnitus? Comment below, I'm watching. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson, founder of Treble Health. You can find us at treblehealth.com. We have a team of doctors who are ready to see you to have a video Zoom consultation to help you with tinnitus, ringing in the ears, or hearing loss and hearing aid selections. Thank you for watching this video. You can check out the other videos in this five-part series explaining what we do at Treble Health. Thank you for being here and I'll see you soon. Bye.